maybe, I don't even know, a year ago or so, I made a video on how to make your own barrel cooler. And I'll be honest, it was one of my most successful videos at the time. People really loved it uh, for the same reasons that I did. It was inexpensive, it worked, and, uh, you know, I, I still get comments to this day on that video. But uh, I dropped mine from a pretty good height and broke it wide open, and the actual blower unit that I had in there, you know, it's kind of still available in the same fashion. But I thought, you know, if I'm going to replace it, maybe I can find something that's smaller, more compact, or kind of better fits my needs. So I'm going to show you a couple options if you're looking to do something like that. And I don't have a bigger option because, to be honest, the one that broke, I threw out. And, um, and I didn't replace it with a bigger unit because I didn't want a bigger unit if I could find a smaller one. So let me show you what I've got. I've got two different units. This one is rechargeable. This one runs off a battery pack. There's some inherent advantages to both. And I'm going to put links down in the description below. And I hate doing that, but it's down in the description below. And uh, you can order either one of these, depending on what fits your needs. And I'm going to tell you which one I've ended up using because of my needs. So the first one is this little unit. And there's a couple different versions that are this size. I'll link you to this particular one. But obviously, if, you know, if you click on it and you see another one you like better than... I mean, look, any of the ones that are like this are going to do the same job. You just kind of have to find the one that fits your needs. It it has a rechargeable battery inside. Uh, it does charge with a USB-C on the outside, which I like a lot uh, because a lot more things are going USB-C. And it's very compact. Uh, anecdotally, I will tell you that the other unit I had is about the size of a sunshade, give or take. So when you compare the two... Uh, there's definitely a size difference, um, and that's a pretty good example of what the other one looked like. Uh, and just like the other one, it's got an exhaust port and an intake, and they come with, you know, different attachments. I happen to like using this little nozzle, and then on this one, I had to trim out a little piece of this so it fit the, the curve so I could really push it on there. And I'm still using my old uh, high-pressure heat hose this red hose that I got at Ace and it was like a dollar for a foot or so and I like this because it's meant to take a very very high heat and it's it's just flexible enough for me it works perfect uh, I also like it because it's red so it's instantly an empty cha chamber indicator when it's inside my gun as well and this just sticks on and you hold down here and that's going to turn it on I'm going to do a couple comparisons here in a second. Um, I'll, I'll actually show you the difference in velocities through the barrel with a, a Kestrel in front of it. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it's just a little quieter than the big one that I had. Uh, Charging-wise, it's about a third of the battery that the other one had. I think the other one was like a 4,000 milliamp. This is like a 13 or 1,600 milliamp. I can't remember offhand. Uh, but uh, it lasts a solid 15 maybe 20 minutes, uh, depending on the heat outside. Now, if it's cooler outside, I'll get about 20 minutes or so. If it's a hot 100 degree day, this thing's going to be working overtime. Physically, it gets a lot hotter. Um, I've had it last maybe 12 or 15 minutes total use. Uh, but under good conditions, if you're using it kind of after each relay for five minutes, you should get, um, you know, three relays out of this. But my problem has been that I've been doing a lot of shooting in real high heat temp areas, like 90 to 100 degrees, and I end up running this for maybe 10 minutes per relay, and by the third relay, uh, or second relay sometimes even, or if I forget that it's on, I've run out of battery. And the way that almost all of these work is that you can't plug in a battery pack and run it. So I have to sit there between relays, charging it, then using it, then charging it, using it. So that was sort of the downside. So I've been using this one for maybe two or three months now. And I liked it, but I just never loved it enough. So I've been looking and looking and looking, trying to figure out, like, you know, what is it that I could do? Because size is important. Weight is important for me when I'm traveling. And most of all, I want to be able to use it, uh, especially low development times. I want to be able to just keep running my barrel cooler. So here's what I found, which is a very light. I mean, this this thing's got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, in fact, let's see here. If I pull this out and I go to grams uh, without the hose on it, 
Uh, this one here is 66 grams, and this one is only 32 grams, so half the weight. So for me, that is a bonus. If we put that in ounce terms, uh, we're looking at 1.1 ounce versus 2.9 ounces. So, uh, you know, it's, it's only a couple ounces, but, you know, it does add up. It's very small, so even compared to this one, it's significantly smaller. If we use this as an example, then you can see where we've got, you know, big, you know, medium, and smallest. So it's definitely the smallest. Uh, Longevity-wise, I have not run it for a very long time, so uh, I don't know, you know, months or a year or so. But it was fairly inexpensive. It was, it was no more or less than one of the rechargeables. In fact, I think it was less because it doesn't have a battery in it. And for me, uh, you know, these barrel coolers are somewhat disposable. Uh, eventually, I know the motors are going to just break because they're not meant to go through what we put them through compared to what they're designed for. But here's the big advantage. I always have a battery pack with me. Even when I fly or whatever, I always have a battery pack. This one happens to be, I think, about a 10,000 milliamp uh, battery pack. And this just allows you to plug right in. Now it does use a uh, micro USB, which I don't love, but it is what it is. And it has a low, oops, low setting. So it has a low and a high setting. But again, I can use any battery pack I want. And I have a couple of these in different uh, amperages. I have a, I think I have a 20 or 30,000. Uh, amp battery that I can also take with me if I want, but this one's just really nice. It's fairly light um, And at 10,000 uh, milliamps, I'm gonna get uh, Let's see 4,000 got me like 40 minutes. So, you know, this is gonna get me an over an hour of use easy uh, Even in the heat so I really like that and I can charge this when I get back to the hotel or the Airbnb After a match or a day at the range and still have plenty of charge left uh, so let's see what this looks like in the real world. Oh, and I will show you. I don't have the box for this one because I threw it away a while ago, but they kind of all come with the same attachments, which are going to be, you know, different rubber pieces for filling or emptying. Like this is designed to go on here if you need to like suck all the air out of an air mattress or something. Um, whoop. And, um, you know, so again, I just like the basic nozzle and I may, uh, I'm leaving it as it is right now. But I may eventually trim it so that there's a larger hole to allow more air to come out. Uh, I'm just, you know, again, still playing with it. I haven't had it too terribly long. But I love the functionality of having the rechargeable battery on it uh, separate so that I can dictate when it's being used. So let's, let's do this. So here's a barrel, and I know it's hard to see. So I'm going to just run this off, off the end here. And I've got one of my kestrels, and we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. And I am just going to set this at the end of the barrel so that it's nice and square. And I'm going to put this one in first, okay? And let me say, before I get going, how I'm testing this is no different than if it was on a gun. This is just going in the uh, in, into the actual chamber. So on or off a gun, uh, it's the same thing. So I'm just testing it in this you know, metal tube here, uh, and it's going to give me the exact same pressures and, and velocities. So let's do this one. All right. So out the end, I'm getting about 6.7 miles per hour of wind. And it's, it's noticeable. Like I can put my hand here and feel it. Okay. And, and like I said, let me do that so that I'm not doing apples to oranges. But yeah, 6.7 6 to 6.8 miles per hour out the end. But it does diminish as the battery either gets hotter, which after about six or seven minutes, it does get noticeably hot. Uh, and it will start to lose a little bit of pressure. Or as the battery starts to decline, obviously you'll see a, a decrease in velocity. So let's see how this other one compares. All right, so same thing. We just have the nozzle. I stick this on. It's going in the end. And I'm going to do this on two settings. So here's the low setting. All right, so it looks like our low setting, 5.3 miles an hour. 
uh, 5.4 and then we're going to kick it up to the high 6.4 yeah a steady 6.4 okay but here's the difference I know that as long as I have charge in that battery pack it's going to be a consistent, you know, six miles an hour through there. And again, you can feel it. It's it's a fair amount. Let me see if I can do something else to demonstrate that for you. Let's plug this back in. And I'm just going to grab a paper towel and put it at the end so you can see it flapping. All right, so... So if I, if I come down like this, you can see it's... You know, it's visible. I'm not doing anything to it. It's pushing that out of the way. I mean, it wants to sit like this. And you can see it's moving it. So anyway, uh, again, fairly inexpensive. In fact, let me look it up for you. I'll tell you what uh, this one's running right now. So that one, you're looking at, uh, as of today... Uh, you are looking at, and again, these prices change. You're looking at 16 bucks, right? And you probably already have battery packs sitting around. So 16 bucks. It does seem like the color is just dumb luck. I got blue. The box also shows green or orange. I kind of would have liked, well, I do like blue. Um, so I'm fine with that. But, uh, you know, it, it does look like it's going to be dumb luck. There's no option to choose a color. And then um, if I talk about the other one here so that is the uh, flex tail gear um, so if we look at that so this one here you're looking at 30 bucks and there happens to be a three dollar coupon again as of today so about twice as much but you have the battery built in for me I can just tell you that I'm gonna be selling this to a friend who would rather have a rechargeable one and that's fine uh, there's no loser here they just serve different purposes but for me, I really need to have the additional power and I always have the battery pack with me. So now I get to save some weight and size with this. I win all the way around and I never have to worry about running out of power in it while I'm doing a reloading session, uh, load development, uh, matches, whatever it is. So uh, there you go. Uh, just an update on making your old barrel cooler. I hope this helps as always. I, I always appreciate the support down below with the Amazon links. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything to use. It does help me continue to do things for this channel. Uh, you guys are great. Hope it goes well. Talk to you soon. Have a good one.